video will demonstrate how to perform carbohydrate analysis using enzymatic method. Here is the equipment you will need. Six plastic cuvettes will be provided, three for the blank and three for the sample. The enzymatic kit includes Solution 1, which provides the components such as NADP and ATP for the enzymatic reactions. Suspension 2, which provides hexyl kinase and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Suspension 3, which provides phosphoglucose isomerase. All of these have to be kept on ice until use. Weigh 5 grams of apple puree in the beaker. Add DD water into the beaker and pour it into the 50 ml volumetric flask. Rinse the beaker and add it into the flask, then make up to volume. Filter the apple puree solution into a test tube. Refer to your pre-lab calculation to get an idea on how much solution you will need. Dilute the apple puree to reach 250 microgram sugar per milliliter concentration in DD water in a microfilter tube. Prepare enough volume for the enzymatic assay. Follow the enzymatic assay guide in your lab manual to add the appropriate volume of solution 1, sample solution and DD water into the plastic cuvette. Remember to use only half of the volume. Remember to prepare your sample blanks. Use the pipette man to mix the solution by pipetting up and down, then switch to a new pipette tip for the next cuvette. Incubate for 3 minutes at room temperature, then read the absorbance at 340 nanometer using the Shimazu spectrophotometer or Tikan spectrophotometer. Add the proper volume of suspension 2 directly into the cuvette and mix by pipetting up and down. Incubate for 10 minutes at room temperature, then read the absorbance. Finally, add the proper amount of suspension 3 directly into the cuvette and mix by pipetting up and down. Incubate for another 10 minutes before reading the absorbance. Calculate the amount of glucose and fructose in the puree sample using the information in the enzymatic assay guide. Discard the solution down the sink and dispose the plastic cuvettes into the garbage bin.